Rumbling from ocean trenches could be a sign that Japan is facing a mega earthquake. This is by Luca de Siena, lecturer in Geophysics University of Aberdeen, Scotland. It's on the conversation. And we have pictures of ocean bottom seismometers floating after releasing its anchor on the seafloor. Yes, ocean floating seismometers. Researchers in Japan have for the first time detected and traced shallow tremors under the ocean that could be a sign that the country is heading towards a huge earthquake. But the technique itself may one day help us predict exactly when such an event would take place, which could save, of course, thousands of lives. We know Japan is on the Ring of Fire, the Pacific Ring of Fire, and it has over 75% of the Earth's volcanic activity, 90% of the world's earthquakes. Now, Japan still has the devastating nine magnitude megathrust earthquake in Tohoku in fresh memory, which produced a powerful tsunami, and uh, that was in March of 2011. It was therefore no wonder that Japanese researchers are the first to detect weak signals of seismic activity. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Japan already has the most powerful seismic network in the world and research institutions in the country are constantly growing it. Ocean bottom seismometers, which measure motion under the sea, have greatly facilitated these efforts by listening to the rumbling that is created when two tectonic plates meet. Such instruments have helped direct low energy, slow earthquakes. They detected low energy, slow earthquakes along the ocean trenches that we otherwise would not notice. Now these low energy, slow earthquakes, which we know are produced deep under the famous San Andreas Fault in California, for example, preceded the Tohoku earthquake. They occur much more slowly than standard earthquakes if they are associated with the underground movement of magma and hot water, but they are not related to volcanoes. They are known as non-volcanic tremors. By comparison, big earthquakes are caused by the rupture of faults and give rise to short-lived high energy seismic waves. Slow slip earthquakes and tremors don't cause any damage on their own. However, if they coincide with very low frequency earthquakes, they can. These are another type of slow earthquake that is caused by processes deeper down underground than tremors and usually indicate fault motions near the dangerous area where the tectonic plates meet. If all these types of slow earthquakes take place along the faulted zone at different depths, they could be a sign we are near to a megathrust earthquake, the researcher said. They investigated the Kyushu Palau Ridge, southeast of Kyushu, and have for the first time been able to detect and map shallow tremors in correlation with the other kinds of shallow earthquakes, slow earthquakes. Even more importantly, they've showed what direction all these events are moving in. This kind of detailed knowledge of seismic activity is considered one of the most reliable ways of predicting big earthquakes. Warning signs. What the study found out is that the waves produced by these quiet earthquakes consistently migrated north along the ridge, north. The movement abruptly ended at the limit of the trench where it was blocked by a so-called locked zone, where friction keeps the two plates together so they cannot slip, where previous megathrust events have occurred. After this, the waves traveled east. This does not look promising, as to avoid a megathrust earthquake, you'd prefer the slow quakes to stay in a locked zone, where the stress caused by them can re be released and the movement can fizzle out. In this case, however, they are probably causing the coupling between the two plates to weaken, which is expected before a megathrust event.
The study, which was published in Science, shows that uh, shallow earth, slow earthquakes may therefore become a reliable way of detecting when and where the next mega earthquake will strike. And this can be done by deploying ocean bottom seismometers along different trenches. In that way, we could detect the pattern of earthquakes in various places so that they would become an exact marker of when any mega thrust earthquake strikes under the ocean, often causing a tsunami as well. The next such earthquake could strike the coast of Kyushu, Japan, a region well known for its dangerous volcanoes as well. Let's hope that by then we have come far enough to prevent the same devastation we saw in 2011. No place is better than Japan to drive such technological progress. In other words, to study what can be going on there. This is by Luca de Siena, University of Aberdeen on Conversation. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.